Hello, my friends. <clears throat> Welcome back. We talked about beavers on our last class day, on our first class day this week. And beavers are mammals that live in a wetland. But there's an, a couple of other kinds of mammals that live in wetlands that look very similar. So another kind is a muskrat. And we're not going to really talk a lot about muskrats, but muskrats look similar to beavers, except that their tails are different and they're a lot smaller. And then there are otters. And when they are on land, otters look very different than beavers. But when they are swimming in the water, which they also do, otters can look a lot like beavers. And as I was thinking about what wetland animals we were going to talk about, I was like, I wonder what the difference is between a beaver and an otter. Because they are both furry mammals that live in wetlands, but I don't really know that much about them. So I decided it would be fun for us to explore what are the similarities and differences and what does each do. So we learned about beavers and today we're going to learn about otters. Hopefully this is interesting to you too. So this book, I forgot to say, this book is called North American Animals River Otters. What are river otters? River otters are water loving mammals that are usually found in rivers, marshes, and swamps. North American river otters live throughout the United States and Canada. Neotropical river otters are found from Mexico to Panama. So the kind that we have here in Utah are North American river otters. But if you go down south into Mexico, then if you find otters in the river, they would be neotropical river otters. River otters live in dens. <clears throat> you see that hollow log? They make these in hollow logs and in river banks. They also make dens from the burrows of other animals. These usually have underwater entrances that lead to nests lined with grass and leaves. So river otters and beavers both have homes with entrances that are under the water, but beavers build lodges and otters will just kind of find a, a place that is hollow or they might hollow out a place if they can't find one, um, but they don't do construction like the beavers do. River otters spend most of their time in the water. They use their long, flat tails to help them swim. Webbed feet help river otters paddle quickly. These animals can swim about six miles an hour. All right, so here are some features of our otters. So just like beavers, they have tails that they use as tools, but Otter's tail looks very different than the beaver tail, doesn't it? The beaver tail is flat and has scales on it. The otter tail is flatter, but it's not wide like the beaver's tail, and it has hair on it. They both have short legs with webbed feet, though, don't they? In beavers, only their back feet are webbed. It looks like otters have both their front and back feet are webbed. River otters have flat heads and small ears. They can close their ears and noses to keep water out. So it sounds like otters have a similar adaptation to beavers where they are able to plug up their ears and noses to keep the water out. Their bodies are covered with thick brown fur. This waterproof fur helps river otters stay warm and dry in cold water. So waterproof means that the water can't get through it. 
adult river otters are about three to four feet long. That is about as tall as some of the shorter of my preschool friends. Their tails can be more than one foot long. That is like as long as a ruler. Otters can weigh up to 30 pounds. That is about how much a three-year-old weighs. Not as bigger than you would think, huh? River otters are carnivores. These skilled swimmers eat mostly fish. Other favorite foods are crabs, crayfish, and mussels. Sometimes they eat insects and small mammals. So what do you think the word carnivore means? It means they eat meat. So herbivore means they eat plants. That's what beavers are. Beavers eat plants. But river otters are carnivores. They eat meat. River otters have few predators in water. They are mainly prey to alligators. And we don't have any alligators in Utah, do we? Common land predators include coyotes and bobcats. Oh, we have some of those, don't we? In Mexico and Central America, river otters must avoid prowling jaguars. Every winter or spring, female river otters have up to six pups. A pup is what they call the baby otters. In about two months, the pups go outside there, they spend most of their time playing near the den. Otter families love to play. Pups wrestle and chase one another. Mom may join in too. They also slide down hills and splash into the water. This playtime helps them learn to hunt. Hunting is how they find their food. <clears throat> so that is river otters. There's also another kind of otter called sea otters that are similar, but they have some different adaptations and some different behaviors. But since we don't have an ocean, sea otters live in the ocean or the sea, and we don't have any of those in Utah. So in Utah, we only have river otters. All right, my friends. So now you're going to go do an activity where you look at beavers, and otters. So have fun with that and have a great day.